Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing the first planting of the season. We're going to get some of our seedlings that have already popped up and popped them into the garden beds. And we're also going to get some new seeds just to see how long everything's going to take to grow. Today is a nicer day. We've got some sun here, which is awesome. And we're going to get stuck into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is just set up some zones in the garden bed. Just getting some stakes, we've got some string, and we're just gonna go across and around. That way we can get four pretty even growing areas. Then we're gonna get a little shovel, making these little lines. This is where we're gonna pop our first row of carrots. The first thing to go in is these little beetroot sprouts. I grew these probably a couple of months ago. They didn't have the best start to life. Ideally, I think next time I'm just going to start with the seeds straight in the ground. We didn't have the garden bed set up yet, so it was a bit of an experiment just to see how they would go. Next up, we've got our beetroot seeds. I'm gonna pop them in this next row a little bit as a comparison for the other ones, but also just to see how they go from a seed this early in the winter. Cover them over with a little bit of dirt. Nice. Next up, we have carrots. The seeds are much smaller. I'm gonna use my fingers to help spread them out a little bit more. I already have carrots growing in a pot at the front, but I did wanna see again how these ones go in the garden beds at the back where it's a little bit warmer they've got a little bit more space next up we have peas i'm going to grow these in the little greenhouse that i got from the local hardware store 50 50 mix of compost and garden soil give it a bit of a stir and then pop it into the trays i'm only going to do three rows because I'm gonna try and spread these across two rows in the garden beds and I don't know how many I'm gonna really need. I'm just gonna use my finger to create these little holes and then we're gonna chuck the seeds in. Once we're done, just gonna cover it back over with a little bit of dirt, give it a quick water, and then chuck the lid back on. Give everything a quick water. It has been raining a fair bit at the moment, but it's always good just to water in the seeds. Next up, I'm just gonna label each of the rows and put the date that they got planted. Just so I, again, I can keep track of it over the season, see how long things take to grow as the weather starts to warm up again. And we're done. Now we'll have to just wait and see how everything grows over the next season.